Good day, my fellow consumers. As Minister with Responsibility for Consumer Affairs, I take this opportunity to extend a happy World Consumer Rights Day to all consumers of St. Lucia as we join the rest of the global consumer society in commemorating World Consumer Rights Day on March 15, 2020 under the theme, The Sustainable Consumer. For some time now, the issue of sustainable consumption has been placed on the front burner as a core priority for the global consumer advocacy movement. Sustainable consumption is an important component of the Sustainable Development Goals, which aims to increase resource efficiency and fair trade while helping to alleviate poverty, enable everyone to enjoy a good quality of life with access to food, water, energy, medicine, and more. Our theme for this year, the Sustainable Consumer, calls for global action to make responsible consumption the easy choice for all consumers and highlights the important role that consumers play in bringing about that much needed change to mitigate the ill effects of climate change and ensure sustainable cities and communities. Consumers, climate change is a real phenomenon and millions of consumers around the world are already feeling its impact. Consequently, you and I have a vital role to play in safeguarding and preserving our right to a healthy environment. At the core of sustainable consumption is the use of goods and services required to meet basic needs and improve quality of life without placing the needs of future generations at risk. As individuals, as consumers, we have enormous power, particularly in the purchase choices we make. How we use goods and services, our disposal of waste, and also in our ability to influence the system, that is from production and manufacturing to packaging and disposal, by simply demanding more from supply chains and calling for more sustainable products and services. Being a sustainable consumer requires making lifestyle changes, demanding products that meet sustainable standards, even if it requires that we pay more for these sustainable products. According to the 2015 Nielsen Global Corporate Sustainability Report, a global study of 30,000 consumers from 60 countries across the globe, which was conducted to determine how much influence factors such as the environment, packaging, price, marketing and organic or health and wellness claims had on consumer goods purchase decisions. 66% of consumers surveyed indicated that they are willing to pay more for sustainable brands. What is of note is that many consumers are already consciously making changes to their lifestyle to be more sustainable by recycling, reusing, reducing food waste and avoiding unsustainable products and practices and they can make an even bigger impact with further support from businesses and governments. Consumers are critical to the success of any transition to more sustainable consumption, but they cannot do it alone. Governments and businesses therefore have an obligation to give consumers the information, choice and infrastructure they need to live more sustainable lives. As we advance in this millennium, I employ all consumers to continue to play your part in promoting and practicing sustainable living that safeguard your interests and welfare. We can all start by making the concerted shift in mindset and taking small steps toward being a sustainable consumer, such as turning off electrical items when not in use, purchasing eco-friendly products, receiving and paying bills electronically, using less disposable items, switching to organic products, harvesting and saving water. Reduce, reuse and recycle whenever you can, especially as it pertains to the use of plastics to ensure the sustainable utilization of the green and blue economy. As focus is placed on the issue of climate change, my government, through the Consumer Affairs Department and the Department of Sustainable Development, is committed to promoting sustainable living in St. Lucia. Cognizant of the need to mitigate climate change, 
we have already enacted legislation to ban the importation, sale, and use of styrofoam and plastic food service containers over a two-year period and simultaneously promote the importation, sale, and use of more environmental friendly alternatives. Government will continue to create the enabling environment to support the work of the advocates and lobbies of the St. Lucia National Consumers Association and other groups in the promotion of consumer welfare. In fulfillment of government's commitment to consumer protection, in June of 2019, the Consumer Affairs Department was relocated to the Abraham George Building at the corner of Mikud and Coral Streets to be more accessible and responsive to consumers. Moreover, the Attorney General Chambers is assiduously working to finalize the necessary legislative amendments to further strengthen the Consumer Protection Act so that it may be soon brought into force. Our requests for your continued patience as we endeavor to address all shortcomings of the legislation is not an excuse for tardiness, but a rational for thoroughness and a regime free of administrative impediments. As I close, I take this opportunity to remind all consumers to join the fight against the novel coronavirus, COVID-19. I make this special appeal to all consumers to be vigilant and follow all the protocols and guidelines established by the Ministry of Health. We, as of priority, need to take every precautionary measure and we should not panic. Let us all do our part to remain safe. As responsible, sustainable consumers, let us play our role in safeguarding the environment, not just for ourselves, but for the sustenance of future generations. Happy World Consumer Rights Day, my fellow citizens. I thank you.